Greetings! Thank you for lending an ear to The Voice of the Times for Thursday, June 10, 2021. For today's editorial, BIR's appalling attack on private schools must be stopped. If the Bureau of Internal Revenue had its way, hundreds of private schools across the country will be forced into bankruptcy, robbing thousands of teachers and other workers of jobs and tens of thousands of students of educational opportunities that have already been severely constrained by the COVID-19 pandemic. The BIR's attack on the private school sector comes in the form of its recently issued Revenue Regulation 5 2021, which at a stroke raised income taxes on proprietary education institutions by 150%. The Coordinating Council of Private Educational Associations, or COCOPEA, an umbrella group of private school organizations representing about 2,500 schools, condemned the BIR regulation as an illegal and discriminatory insertion into the recently enacted Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives for Enterprises or the CREATE Act. The group, along with other private education stakeholders, has since sued the BIR before the Court of Tax Appeals to stop implementation of RR5 2021 and has also appealed to President Rodrigo Duterte to intervene. RR5 2021 is a number of issuances made by the BIR to manage the adjustments to corporate income taxes required by the CREATE Act, which in general reduced the corporate tax rate from 30% to 25% immediately, with further incremental reductions down to 20% to be implemented over the next few years. However, in applying the new 25% tax rate to private schools through RR5 2021, the BIR arbitrarily overrode a preferential 10% tax rate proprietary schools have been granted since 1968, despite there being no specific provision in the CREATE Act repealing it. In addition, RR5 2021 also wipes out a temporary provision in the CREATE Act that reduced the 10% tax rate to 1% during the pandemic as a form of economic relief for schools, according to Cocopea. The effect, then, is an instant tax increase of at least 150% for private schools. Cocopea has argued, correctly we believe, that the BIR's action is completely contrary to the intent of the CREATE Act to reduce corporate taxes. The BIR's action also violates the legal principle of the stream cannot rise higher than the source by adding something to the CREATE law that was not present when it was passed, as Senator Sherwin Gachalian and other lawmakers have pointed out. Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III, who signed off on R5 2021, has defended the BIR's interpretation, saying it is consistent with the tax code and can only be overruled by a decision of the Supreme Court or the passage of corrective legislation. However, in a sign that he is perhaps aware of the harmful discrepancy in the law that has been exposed by the BIR's action, Dominguez did offer an assurance that the Department of Finance and the BIR would abide by any such ruling or legislation with alacrity, if such would be issued. While the Court of Tax Appeals may offer some temporary relief by suspending the oppressive RR5 2021, it appears that at this point, the best and perhaps only solution is for Congress to pass a supplemental measure clarifying the tax structure that should be applied to private schools. Fortunately, a number of senators have proposed doing precisely that, expressing the sentiment that the BIR's regulations run counter to the overall priority of the government to find ways to help businesses and households recover from the pandemic-induced economic downturn. We certainly urge Congress to follow through and take whatever corrective action is needed. In doing so, however, we also would encourage them to reassess the legislative process. The controversy over RR5 2021 is only the latest in a long line of cases in which implementing rules and regulations have significantly altered the intent and sometimes the actual letter of the corresponding laws. At best, this has led to delays and inefficiency in operationalizing national policy. At worst, it can lead to grave unintended consequences, such as the current problem caused by RR5 2021. Greater attention to detail and clarity in laws when they are passed the first time would eliminate these unfortunate situations. And that's the editorial for Thursday, June 10, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print, subscribe to its digital edition, or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, and listen to the Voice of the Times.